Methylene blue nasal sprays. Yeah, it's a thing. It's being sold out there. So is methylene blue nasal spray better than the other methylene blue you probably heard about in, in a little dropper? So let's take a look at some of this research. And yes, there is some research on this. So let's take a look at this study first. So as they say in the study, topical nasal drops and aqueous nasal sprays dyed with methylene blue were administered in a standardized fashion in normal volunteers. So they just used methylene blue to track how fast the active ingredients got in. So this is not a measurement of the effectiveness of methylene blue nasal spray, but we're not done yet. Let's move on to this next paper, the clinical effectiveness and prospects of methylene blue systematic review. So this is a review of methylene blue, and I've covered this previously in some of my other videos, but in this paper, they do mention a couple of trials of methylene blue nasal spray having to do with a certain respiratory condition that we cannot talk about, <laughs> that they kind of made us all get jabs a couple years ago. And uh, they mentioned in one of these papers that in the early stages of, the, of this condition, methylene blue was found to be effective in reducing viral loads in the nasal cavity. Okay, that's great, but what they didn't report on is whether or not people got better faster, did it prevent getting the condition at all, did it get out of the hospital faster? There's no mention of that. All they're saying is the viral load went down, which is nice. Did people get better? And they didn't mention anything about that. And then I also want to point out that the second study that they're reporting on here has has not uh, released any kind of results, at least the time when this paper was published. Let's move on to the next paper, and this one's interesting. Customized intranasal hydrogel delivering methylene blue ameliorates, improves cognitive dysfunction against Alzheimer's disease. Wow. So this is a paper that is combining methylene blue with, which they're calling a tau in ag aggregation inhibitor. Tau protein is implicated in the development of Alzheimer's disease. And they're combining methylene blue with uh, another compound called black phosphorus that they're using as a, a carrier, uh, carrier molecule. And it's also apparently an antioxidant. And so let me just read you the results of this paper. Black phosphorus methylene blue continuously released and delivered into the brain exerted synergistic effects by suppressing tau neuropath neuropathology, restoring mitochondrial function, and alleviating neuroinflammation, thus inducing cognitive improvements in mouse models. So it's a mouse study. To my knowledge, there is no evidence that methylene blue nasal spray exerts any benefits over, say, a traditional way with an eyedropper. But then again, if you've seen my other videos, you know I'm critical of methylene blue research. And if you haven't seen that other studies, check out my playlist here and you can see the research for yourself. And no, I do not work for the government or a big pharma either. Rather, I read the research on supplements and analyze it so you don't have to.